What's up guys, Daddy Paul here. Welcome to episode three. So Black Friday is around the corner and you're kind of thinking, hmm, should I take the plunge or should I wait? Let's face it, even before Black Friday, you're already thinking about should I buy it or should I not? So in this episode, I'll try to talk about the things that you might expect if you were to buy a Pixel 2 XL. If you're on the fence, don't feel bad. There is a lot to like, and there is also a lot that you may not like. So this video will try to explain to you what you're getting yourself into if you do decide to purchase the Pixel 2 XL. Now, I'm only talking about the Pixel 2 XL because I've never used the regular Pixel 2. Um, I don't own it. Well, sit back and let's see if I can help you decide if this phone is really for you. <music> So let's start it off with the screen issues and that being the blue tint. It's only really evident on the white background like the Google homepage. Testing an LG V20, I noticed that there is also a slight blue tint on the screen, albeit slightly less. Just interesting that nobody really said anything about this last year. I also wanted to see if this would distract me from watching a movie. It didn't seem like it did. I didn't even notice it. Another scenario is, what if I was using my GPS? And given the viewing angle, would it interfere with me reading what's on my phone screen? Nope, still very usable. So does the blue screen make things look colder? To find out, I dug up some stock footage of something burning just to, you know, see. The second one would be the dullness of the screen. Because of multiple complaints about the screen not being vibrant enough, Google responded with an update that gave users three color modes to choose from. The first one would be natural, and then boosted, and then saturated. It seems like they are sticking to their guns with referring to the default mode as natural, and to some extent, I do agree. In a nutshell, if you're using natural setting, you get flatter, less saturated colors. The boosted mode gives you a 10% boost, hence the name, in color saturation. In my opinion, it's really hard to notice the difference. Saturated mode punches up the colors a lot more, sometimes giving certain colors an almost neon look. This is still less compared to what you see on a Galaxy phone, but less doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. At least it won't make you look orange. I went to that tanning place your wife suggested. Was that place the sun? <laughs> Up next is the non-expandable memory. So 64 gig or 128 gig. In a day and age where we are given a plethora of choices, we oftentimes gravitate to the bigger number equating it as the better choice. I'm no exception to this as I opted for the 128 gig version of the phone. But we forget that the biggest thing that usually fills up our phone's storage is media. Remember, Pixel owners get to upload uncompressed full-sized photos and video unlimited amounts to the cloud. Even if you fill up your phone with apps and movies up to, let's say, 60 gigs, you still have four to use for photos and videos. That's a lot. So how does the Pixel 2 XL stack up against the competition? At this point, you might be thinking that there are other phones out there that offer far more than this, like wireless charging, pens, and the ability to make your face look like a cartoon dog to send to your friends. And you're absolutely right. The thing is though, it's not always about what's on paper. And there's nothing wrong with having all of those things. But if I can't even take advantage of half of those features on a daily basis, at least for me personally, then they are no more than a party piece. What makes the Pixel 2 shine in my opinion is the overall experience. The stellar camera, the smoothness of its software, the convenience of calling up information with a squeeze or with your voice, and the peace of mind of knowing that you won't run out of storage space for all your selfies in front of the bathroom mirror. But most importantly, it's the way that makes you feel, regardless of what your friends say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.